Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, coming to you from Houston, Texas. What the heck? Whoa, he's hacking me. He's attacking me. <laughs> Get away from me, goose. Get away from me, goose. Get away. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Get back. Get back, goose. Get back, I have this stick. Get back. I have this stick here. <laughs> Oh my gosh! He's coming for me! He's right. He's charging me! What is your problem? That just happened. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. 11,000 gallons of water per minute spill over the walls of the 60 four foot fountain. Very impressive indeed. You just gotta get past that guy. There's a security guard and he does not play nice. Well, hello up there, cow. Cow on a billboard. This is pretty neat. It's one of those five gallon water jugs where you can fill up a five gallon water jug, except that thing probably holds way more than five gallons. Right here in the parking lot of this grocery store and tire shop, something very interesting. Wedged directly between the strip mall, bank, and gas station is a family's final resting place. It belongs to the Hillendals, and out of the 20 different plots, quite a few of them have plants growing through them. The headstones date from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. This was here well before all this other consumerism came into play. Henry was the father, and Mariah was the mother, and it's designated by these little placards at the very bottom of the grave itself. And while nearly all of them are from the same family, there are two graves with the last name Antonio. A local realtor was driving by, stopped and asked, what the heck are you doing? I told him about the graveyard. He didn't even really know much information about that. And he's lived here quite a while. Squiggly dancing man. He's dancing even though an old school cemetery's nearby. He's dancing, dancing, dancing. He's dancing, selling some cell phones or whatever furniture he's trying to pawn off on you. Oh dang, there's another one. They're everywhere. They really enjoy theming their water dispensers here. This one's a windmill. Without a doubt, the most genius name for a convenience store ever. You stop, then buy food store. Stop, stop, then buy food in the store. So simple, yet brilliant. Do you think enjoying coffee is an age thing? Do you think it gets better with age? I think the older you get, in years, your wisdom creates a beneficial love of coffee? And just a curious question. In the morning, when it's really early, normally I get a hot coffee. But as the day gets later, like today, it's not super early morning anymore, I go with an iced coffee. This is not always the case, but general, general rule of thumb that's how it works. Are you that way? Right next to this thoroughfare, along this fence line, sits an image of the Virgin Mary inside 
this tree. And for many years, people have left flowers around the base of the tree. Some people even make the pilgrimage from out of state to see the image. No one knows exactly how it got there, but she can be seen right here behind this little cartoon paper image of Mary. They have blocked the actual tree image itself with paper. I don't want to be the one to pull the nails out of the tree and pull this down, so you're just going to have to use your imagination. You see stuff like that pop up from time to time. The last one I saw was in Salt Lake City. They had stairs leading to the top of it. That one is at a much lower level. There are many different opinions on how it got there. Some say it was hit by a car. Others say it was the work of a higher deity. And just about a block down the road is this church building that's in a super old school theater. I love this. This is like Route 66 old school Hollywood style. You can even see the former neon all up the top of it. That is awesome. Look at these two guys. They're wanting me to come join the family. Look like friendly, friendly fellas. His hand though looks like it's a little discombobulated. He's either double jointed or he has like fallen and broken it and twisted it to the side. He doesn't look too happy about it either. He is not, he is not comfortable right now. Every time I see a dancing Statue of Liberty, I think to myself, if I went to New York City to the real Statue of Liberty and she handed me money for my tax return, that would be pretty cool. I am really excited about this next location. I am a huge Jack Nicholson fan, of course, from Tim Burton's Batman, Five Easy Pieces, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Easy Rider, so many different movies. The Shining, one of my all-time favorites. He won the Academy Award in 1983 for Best Supporting Actor from a movie called Terms of Endearment. And one of the best scenes of that movie is filmed right there. I think if you are a man, at some point in your life, you have wished that you were as cool as Jack Nicholson. This was Aurora's house from the movie, and there is a scene where the two of them, Jack Nicholson driving, slightly intoxicated, hits another car right there at the end of the driveway and then walks towards that tree. Well, you do bring out the devil in me. All these houses look exactly the same. The car would have been right here. All this, this little brick area looks the same. And he was standing right by that tree. I don't want to walk in their driveway because it is private property, but Jack Nicholson was standing right there Man, so freaking cool. A lot of dogs guarding that property and a lot of signs saying they will call the police. There is a lot of neighborhood watch, so I had to make this quick. But I think this might be the first time ever that I have stood where Jack Nicholson stood. Such an esteemed, cherished actor that the police patrol his old stomping grounds. I know that's not the real reason. It's just a very fancy area. I know the screenshots didn't match up, but I really didn't want to go up in someone's yard like that. I often wonder sometimes about that scene, which you can find on YouTube, if he really was supposed to hit that car or if it was just an accident and they just rolled with it. I also just noticed today is vlog number 1,666 in a row. That's a lot of days. And it's an interesting number because you know, the 666 thing, 1,666 days in a row, I have not missed an upload. Come hell or high water, I have not missed an upload. It's almost like I could go home and sleep well. I've been doing my duty every day.
my calculations, the last time I saw you, it was 666. Now it's 166. It's math that you carry. Listen, it's been a very long time, but I wanted to show you my winter home. I borrowed it from Lex Luthor and the Legion of Doom. I figured they owe me a favor, but that's neither here nor there. I've been watching your videos and 1666 number of videos, that's incredible. That's, that takes you to someone who's very, very passionate or someone who has a very, very tiny brain and this is what he wants to do. I, I'm not saying either one is you. I'm just, you know, have some sympathy for me. I'm just saying what I see. What I see is what I see. As a the devil, I do see things that some mortals don't see. And I see seeing you very, very soon, sooner rather than later. It's a threat. Like I'm, I'm saying that I'm threatening you with your, your mortal life. But I really want to congratulate you on your crazy number of videos. And until then, I'll send you back from where you came. Goodbye, Mr. Adam the Woo. Good luck on a thousand and sixty-six more on your second channel, Daily Vlog Channel, the Daily. It's really actually catchy. I get it. I get why you like it. It's cool. Sayonara, sucker. Yeah. Vlogo.